All right, y'all, I was gonna make y'all a video about how cute my little kitten is and how my little kitten loves to curl up in my robe no matter where I put it. And here he is still trying to curl up in it. But before I clean this up, there is poop in here and I hadn't seen it at first. He just must have pooped in here. Of course, he's a baby. But anyhow, um, let's do a little video on this. I have something to share. All right, y'all, I got my robe in the washer. I got my kitten walking around. So let's have a little chit chat. Come sit with me for a moment. All right, my little Scarlet Scholars, let's talk about this. How's your week been? So my week, I'm gonna share my week. I don't know how y'all's week has been, but comment down below, share with me how your week's been, what's been going on. If you don't have anything to share, just give me a heart down below to send some support. And um, so today I just kinda wanna share with you because I saw, I was gonna make y'all a video of the kitten because I thought it was just so cute. And I was as I was doing that, there's that chunk of poop, y'all saw it. So that's just a reminder. It's a visual for some of the things that have been occurring in my week this week. So a lot of things have gone on that haven't been that great. Honestly, it has been a tough week. And if you can't tell, you know, I'm kind of worn out a little bit this week. And we do have a lot of abundance still. You can see up there, this is all the harvest from today. And it goes more that way. So we have a lot of abundance here. It's not um, like that. But we had different things happen in this week. So one of the things that happened is my car broke down. Now I absolutely love my car, so that was not a good thing for various reasons, but it just wasn't a good thing for me. So anyhow, we're getting our car fixed. It was one thing that's turned into another and then another, y'all know how that is. So that hasn't turned around yet. We don't know what's gonna happen with that or you know what's happening, but it seems like there's gonna be various things to fix and that's okay, I mean, if they gotta be fixed, they gotta be fixed. It's just something that we weren't expecting and then I don't have my car for a while. So um, it's just not what I was expecting to happen. So does stuff like that ever happen? Yes, it happens. Our cars break down. Um, we have something unexpected break in our home. Um, a friend is upset with us. Our partner fights with us. Something happens, right? So these things happen. So while at the same time, very amazing things are happening in my life, um, there are these other yuckier things that pop up here and there. Now these things, we just kind of have to roll with the tide, you know, just roll with it. It may be a tough one. You may have to work through some stuff. You may have to, you know, rethink things or whatever you have to do in your situation, but um, you will have to go through it. You will have to go through it, my friend. And it's just part of life. So these things will happen. I had the car breakdown. What else happened? There was a lot of different things that happened throughout the week. Um, but lots of blessings also happened. Um, oh, another thing that happened that was just sad to me and also upsetting was I have a little house on a lake. And I absolutely love this house. If y'all watch my um, vlogging channel, you probably have seen some videos from that home. But we had a really big rain and I was lucky enough to be in the home when this happened but we have a leak in my home there. And so we had a leak coming through and that made me so sad because the house had been alone. And I don't know how long that's been happening or what's been going on. Of course it wasn't very wet. So thankfully that all wasn't too bad. And then I began to get, you know, kind of concerned about who's going to fix the home. We live in a very, very rural area that, you know, hardly no one comes out to. So suddenly we, I get a young man and two young men wanting to talk to me about renting my home. They know that I don't live there full time, so they're wanting to help. Well, they're not wanting to rent the home right now. They're going to want to rent it possibly later, but they're not even sure on that. But they wanted to go ahead and help me to fix up my home now. And in two months after they get back from going out of town to who knows where, if they've collected enough money, they would like to rent the home. And I don't actually use the home the whole time. And these gentlemen um, don't even wanna use the home the whole time either. So it became a very ideal situation for me. Um, they saw the leak as we were talking and they immediately wanted to help for free. And so I got the materials and they helped me to fix it. So on top of that, um, I mentioned to them how I've been wanting to do this podcast studio that I mentioned to y'all. Um, and they uh, want to help with it. And they're young men. They also want to get involved in helping with the podcast studio. So they're going to help me to set that up. That way they have more space and I will actually be on the property while they're living there if they do decide to live there. Um, when I want, I'll have access to that. So it actually is an ideal situation for me. 
um, and the house will be maintained if they do move in. And if they don't, hey, I got my um, roof fixed and they're gonna help me with my podcast studio and they're very much interested in that whole thing. So, you know, people just show up at the right times and places with just the right skills, the right knowledge, the right information, the right message, money, whatever it is that you happen to need. So it's, it's just how it happens. It's, you know, it comes with the territory. There, wherever there is anything happening, there's actually going to be both the good and the bad because that's how it's created and that's how it gains polarity and isness or aliveness. So just roll with the punches, my friend. Don't let them keep you down for long. Don't take this life too seriously. Don't take those punches too seriously. And if something is ending for you, realize that that is truly just a new beginning for you. And it's always an evolution of your soul, of your heart, of your being, more in alignment who, with who you truly are. Your authentic self or your divine self, your true self, because all there truly is, is truth here. I hope this message was inspiring to you today. If it was, please share it with other people. Give me a like, a heart down below, a comment, something to get this video out there, get the algorithm catching my video so that more people can view them. Thank you so much. And if you would like to help support the um, School of Scarlet Studio, you can find um, my PayPal donation link in my channel links um, and anything like that in my community tab. Thank you so much for watching.